out. It is, where's my clock? 11.27. And um, the Mosquito Squad, yeah, Mosquito Squad just left my house. And I've been meaning to tell you guys about that, that if you have, if you have mosquito problems at all, that they have done a wonderful job. I used them all summer, we did, and my parents did. And um, boy, it made the biggest difference. And I've noticed mosquitoes can be worse in the fall. So we're gonna do it probably this month and maybe next month. And um, all they do is come and it looks like Ghostbusters or something. You know, they have those big um, backpack sprayers and they've got like this big thing and they're spraying out this fog. And um, so that is all they do. And um, you don't even smell it or anything because we do have the, like the state or whatever does the mosquito sprayers, but that always stinks. But anyway, that's worked out well. So they just left and um, I did a few things around the house this morning and I've got a wax appointment at 12.30. And I thought I would, um, I usually try to go in Ulta like once a week and just see what they've got. Um, I saw on my email they had a free product today by, it starts with a Q, is it Quidad or something, some hair product that was anti-humidity. So I thought, I think it's one of those curl brands. I thought I would, um, if I get something, you know, try that out. And, um, so, last night I did my hair straight, and then I just slept on it down. So it's kind of, you know, just, and I didn't put any hairspray or anything on it, which is kind of messy. But the products I used were the Kiehl's Straightening Balm, which is phenomenal. Whether you have your hair straight or not, that Kiehl's Straightening Balm, there's just something about it. It makes your hair just hold whatever you do to it. And then I think the other thing I put in it was the RN Code Jackpot Cream. And all that does is when it, it just helps, if you have hair like mine, smooth out and have some oomph. You know what I mean? Almost gives it some, I'm gonna say fiber, but I don't mean that literally. But it just means it just, you know, it gives it some more body. It's kind of like if my hair were, if it were to start off as angel hair pasta, it would end up as regular spaghetti. <laughs> So it doesn't really make it thicker, but it just makes each piece have more body to it, I feel like. And um, so, what else do I have to do today? My mom's got my niece, so um, they've already texted me wanting me to stop by. I might do that. I stopped by my parents yesterday, but uh, my niece wasn't there. And um, let's see. Oh, uh, Will has an orthodontist appointment after school, so that's kind of been, I hate those. I hate it when they, I hate it when the kids have anything like that. Orthodontist, dentist, doctor, anything. And I know that, you know, that's, I, I think to myself, that's part of being a mom. Think of all the moms that have to go through terrible things, you know. But, um, anyway. I just hate it when they get worked on and their teeth are sore and they can't eat and all that kind of stuff. But that's just part of it. And um, which Will's real good. He doesn't complain much. It has to be bad for him to complain. And um, it's a beautiful day. I love it when it's pretty like this. Oh, it just makes me want to do stuff. I would have probably gotten up and done a video or been more active this morning, but Bridget, this thing kept us up all night last night. It was just one of those nights that it was like in the middle of the night, she thought it was the morning time. And she got, first she got whined and got John up. He took her out. But then the second time, she does this real light, like under her breath whine. It's a real high pitched and John doesn't hear it. I'm the only one that hears it. And I was trying to ignore it and see if she'd go back to sleep, like a baby. And um, then she started licking my hand. And so I got her up, took her out. And then she starts running in, running all around the house with her tail wagon, like she thinks it's the morning time, time for her to eat. And um, so, uh, it was just one of those nights with her. So she snored all morning. I don't know what got into her, but I told her, she keeps that up. It'll be crazy.
crate time because um, we gotta sleep. Especially John, he's got to get up and go to work and he doesn't get to take naps or anything and he's got a high pressure job. He needs to have his sleep, but um, anyway, I've been meaning to talk to you guys about this, <laughs> like it's so important. But um, I thought about doing a whole video, but I thought, nah, it's probably not worth a whole video. But I just got through watching the Ray Donovan series. <laughs> Sorry. And um, John has, he didn't watch it with me. And oh my goodness, obsessed with it. I mean, I loved that show. And I, you know, I'm, I'm in love with Ray. But um, so John's watching it now with me. And it, I can watch something. If I really like something, I can watch it twice because I'll catch stuff the second time that I never caught before, especially when it's something that I watched by myself and didn't have anybody to ask or anything. And um, so we watched episodes two and three last night. It's so good. So if any of you are looking for something to watch on Showtime, um, it's just fabulous. Now, it's not for... I would never watch it with like, I mean, Brooke could handle most of it because she's, you know, she's almost 18. But I would never watch it with her because there's just too much racy stuff in there. Um, and matter of fact, when I watched it, I watched it upstairs just in case. But um, John and I have been watching it in our room. But um, so it's got, you know, it's got its violence and it's got some of course, lots of cussing lots and it's got um of course tna as usual but that's okay that's i got i'm used to it <laughs> and um but it's been neat i love watching things that you get to kind of know another culture i mean even within here and within the united states um it's like i've learned so much about southie you know south boston and the irish catholics in south boston and um you know, I was just reading about it. You know, when they would say stuff, I would look it up and read about it. And um, so I think that's neat. You know, I grew up here in the South and coastal South, and it's it's different everywhere. Even different Southern traditions are different in different states and areas and stuff. So I love learning about stuff like that. And I've told John several times I would love to go to Boston. He went one time that's where he bought my blue Balenciaga he went on a work trip and then went to a Red Sox game and um, so he's been there and um, I've heard that it's a really cool city like a real clean city and I just want to go to somewhere different so he'll probably take me one day especially now the kids are getting older we could actually probably leave them you know with my mom so to speak. I mean, my mom wouldn't necessarily have to stay every minute, but maybe she could just come over and stay the nights or something like that. Now that they're, they're almost 14 and almost 18. So, um, anyway, so if you've watched Ray Donovan, leave your comment down below. I'll be interested to hear what you have to think. Um, John Voigt, I mean, everyone in that series is the, does the best acting. It is amazing. John Voight really does a good job. And even um, the main character, um, is it Leave Shriver or Shriver or I think it's Leave something. I think that's his name. He does a great job. Just his facial expressions and um, the children, everybody does a great job. The brothers, everybody. It's really good. And now I started, I wasn't sure John was going to watch it with me because he's more into sci fi. Usually what he's watching has um, a vampire in it, somebody going to the future, a spaceship, um, you know, he loved Game of Thrones. Um, you know, he's real into sci-fi type stuff, and I'm not. So, you know, when I find something that we can watch together, I try to do it. And, uh, but anyway, when I didn't know if he was gonna watch it or not, I started Blacklist. That's my next one. I got halfway through the first episode and then um, we started watching this. So I don't know if I have to wait or not, but that looked really good too. My parents usually watch stuff and tell me what they think I like. Um, you know, I like the typical ones. Um, I can't 
can't remember, what was it? What was that family that I watched that lived in the Keys? Just a really messed up family. Um, I can't rem remember. I got crushed ice. Every time I take a drink, ice is on out. Which is fine if I'm not vlogging. But, um, so anyway, enough about that. So I am going to go to Ulta, look around, and then go get my waxing done. And then I will probably talk to you guys in just a little bit. Okay, so I just had my wax appointment. I feel like I should run out of there like, was it Ruth Jenner or something through the ribbon when I get that done. And I was behind on my bikini waxing because um, Aunt Flo interrupted everything last week. I know this is TMI, but um, so I had done my legs and my underarms last week. Whew, that was not fun. But um, anyway, so now off to, I think I'm going to go to Chick-fil-A today to get a salad. Oh, I wonder if I can go this back way. Show you guys my yummy, yummy salad I get from um, there. That avocado ranch dressing is delicious, delicious, as my grandmother used to say. And, and <clears throat> excuse me. And um, I got some really good things, or I got one really good. This lip um, at Ulta. Um, so I don't know if I'll show it to you today. I might just wait till Friday. But, um, and of course, the free product thing that I was going to get from Quidad or whatever, you had to have the barcode, the email. So, I'll have to go back. She said I could just bring my receipt in um, and get that later. But I also got, um, it's going to be too late by the time I post this, but I got the Lorac Liquid Eyeliner Pen for $10.00. It was 13 off. It was normally 23 and I got it for $10. So I'm not even sure if I like that, but um, thought I'd give it a try. Brooke and I both, you know, we go from one thing to the other. I never, I really like my Blitz and Glitz um, gel liner from MAC, but sometimes you just don't feel like getting the brush out and cleaning the brush and all that stuff. And it's just easy to grab a pen. So I'm here now at Chick-fil-A. I don't want to get anybody in the video if I don't have to that, that know it. And I have my Chick-fil-A card. Get all kinds of free stuff with this. This lip feels really good. And I just have on my Lancome lip liner. The Lancome Ideal, my favorite. Lips in a stick. Brooke and I call it. Hello. Hey. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Can I get your name, please? Uh, Lisa. Lisa. All right. Go ahead. Um, I would like a large diet Dr. Pepper with light ice. Okay. And then the, um, is it the Cobb salad? It has the corn and stuff in it. Uh-huh. Okay. Hold the tomato. Okay. Cop salad, no tomato. What kind of dressing? Um, and I like chicken tenders on mine. Okay. So, we're going to do the strips? Yes, chicken strips. Okay. And then what, what was the dressing? Avocado ranch. Okay. And no tomato? Yes, please. Okay. Let me get to my... Oh, yeah. Never mind. I forgot. I have to type that in. Let's see. No tomato. Okay. And I'm, I think I might have something on this, but... I, Okay, um, let me see. It, uh, you think the, what, the drink? No. Or a salad? This might have something on there that I should get because I know if I don't get them, they um, disappear. Okay, well, just pull up with me okay. and work it out. Okay. Guys, we, okay, so we've got on the 30th, you've got any hot coffee or small or large iced coffee? No, thank you. Okay. And then the Chick-fil-A biscuit hash brown, that's for breakfast. Okay. Um, you also have a cookie. 
small milkshake or ice cream that expires on the 30th. Okay, cookie. Let's just do the okay. cookie today. All right, cool. And then you got some other offers coming up. Okay. Okay. So, so you want to add a cookie? Uh huh. All right. And that be it? That's it. Okay. And I'll go ahead and swipe, and then it'll take it off up there. Okay. okay. Um. Yeah. I don't need. Yeah. You can take that. That one's good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. There you go. Thank you. My pleasure. Have a, oh, you know what? It didn't even take. Tag on it. What's going on? <laughs> Some of them just, they don't like it, you know. That's okay. There we go. Okay, thank All you. Right. My pleasure. See you next time. Take it again. Do you need it's me? It's all right. It, it, they'll probably have to do it up there. It's just not taking it for okay. some reason. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. I'll take the cookie to my niece. Or Will. Will will probably get a kick out of it, too. Lisa? Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? 202, please. 202. 202? Yeah, it's yes for the uh, large style Dr. Pepper. Yeah, did, did I have a free salad too? Yeah, there was a free cookie and a free cup salad. Wow, okay. Yeah. Let me see. Okay. It was. <laughs> Goodness, I don't have two pennies. There we go. That's okay. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, it was so light. <laughs> hey, Miss Lisa. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. I haven't seen you in a while. I've been here. Are you a manager now? Mm -hmm. Wow. Congratulations. Thanks. Pepper is so good. I started watching your YouTube channel. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Oh, thank you. I didn't realize you have one until Hannah said something to me the other day about it. Really? And I was uh -huh. like, oh, I was watching because I love <laughs> YouTube tutorials and I love yeah. YouTube. Your uh, makeup always looks wonderful. Thanks. So, because I watch so much YouTube. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a sickness, isn't it? Yeah, I love it. Took hours on it. I know. Oh, bye bye. glasses on for a little bit. I found a good spot. Hmm. Okay. Cookie. Their cookies are so good because not only are they chocolate chip, but they have like oatmeal in them. They are so good. Yum. <laughs> I'll save that. And here is the dressing. Avocado lime ranch. It's so good. And then with this salad, you get the um, Fork. And these red bell peppers, like dried, they just add so much. And I don't even like the way they taste. Like if I, I've tasted one on the, on its own, I didn't really like it. But with the salad, it's so good. Okay, start my flash bag here, and I'm gonna take my Invisalign out. I think I changed to new trays tomorrow. Okay, I'll do that in a minute. You guys don't need to see that. But um, I wanted to show you the salad, how good it is. Make sure I lock the door. Way to get me. Okay, so I'm gonna fix it up and then show it to you. But for those of you that go to um, Chick-fil-A a lot, you know that the, the nuggets taste different than the chicken strips. The chicken strips have almost like a, a sweet taste or something and it's good on this salad. Okay. So I'm going to show it to you without the dressing. See how it's got just chicken and eggs and all kinds of lettuce and cabbage and corn. It's really good. And then <laughs> this dressing is so green. And I use every drop. Let's see how much, how many carbs it has in it. 
let's see, three carbs, two sugars. So, here we go. Let's see. I'll pick up the camera. Yummy. <laughs> so, I'm going to eat this and I will see you guys later. But um, yesterday I did some vlogging and Monday I did too and I cannot find Mondays. I think I might have accidentally deleted it. I'm just, I haven't, I've got to get back in the groove of doing my vlogging and um, I think this is the first time I've done it since I've had my MacBook and so uploading it to my Mac was different and I think I cannot find what I did Monday so sorry. And I had done, I had taken you in my kitchen and we did the flowers and everything, but we'll do that again. So, um, today is the day I changed my, the 20th is when I changed my liners. So my mouth will be sore tomorrow. So I'm gonna eat a good salad today. Yesterday I went to Chick-fil-A, today I'm gonna go to Zaxby's and then we're going to dinner tonight. We always go to dinner on Wednesday nights. And um, it's a beautiful day. And um, I showed you this dress in my video because it will sell out fast and I think it's a really good dress for the money. It will be great for Christmas or for parties or, you know, for me, I wear dresses all the time. But um, it's pretty for the price. And um, nothing else really going on. It's kind of a good, slow day. I don't have any appointments. Or anything like that so I don't know what I'll get into I'll just see how I feel when I get out but I just wanted to say hello and um, I haven't worn these sunglasses in a while these are I think they're Chloe but I always love this tortoiseshell with red I always think about it every time I wear red I think about these sunglasses I think the tortoiseshell looks good with it I saw these on Rosie Huntington Whiteley and hunted them down and bought them and I really like them they're very comfortable they're comfortable on my nose and um, just something different so I brought these out today and um, I will talk with you soon. and my broader point here is, is that you tend to believe when Bill says we can do something okay I just remembered that um, I wanted to go into Oliver to see um, that t-shirt that she was telling me is coming. She said that she had a t-shirt coming, a really cool t-shirt that had lips on it and that she thought about me when she ordered it. So I'm going to go run into Oliver and see what um, she's gotten in new. We've got to get like a little um, rubber piece or something to go there. So I know now. <laughs> there we go put it there for now but um so I will um show you what it is when I get back in the car and then I just thought of something else I wanted to do oh I might want to go into Victoria's Secret they had sent me an email and I was looking at their bralettes and there was a few on there that I liked so um I'll let you know what I get and um maybe I will show you my salad too at lunch. So I'll see you in just a little bit. Oh my goodness, I hate it when you can see. Please don't hit me. Okay. Okay. I just left Victoria's Secret and um, I went in there looking for two bralettes that they didn't have of course and ended up getting a bra, a bralette, some more of those favorite panties that I love. I'm literally, I always say this, but I'm literally going to throw away my other ones. 
and I went to Oliver and got that t-shirt that she told me about and um, but I'm not going to show it to you today because I think I'm going to wear it Friday it's so cute I think a lot of you will like it and um, so now I'm headed to I'm in Mayfair now and now I am headed to get my lunch and I want a Zaxby salad today so I will um, when I get there I'll show you my salad <laughs> benefit coming out of here okay my usual um, with the medium coat medium diet coat light ice Myself, so you guys don't have to see this. No tomato, yep, you got me. Thank you. See you later. You too. Okay, you guys right here, the dog's barking. There's that, um, it's like a veterinarian place next door, but they do like the doggy daycare. And the dogs are always over there barking. I love watching them though, they're so funny. Okay, let's go over here. It's empty here today. Goodness. Okay, so what I get is the um, fried house salad. You could get grilled if you are worried about that. And it's hot and fresh. Yeah, let me move you real quick so you can see better. Okay. Huh. So here it is. Yummy, and I don't get any toast or any tomato. And then my favorite dressing is good old Thousand Island, and it's um, three carbs, and I use both of them. And I don't eat any bread or croutons or anything like that. Um, so... But I do, um, I also get a Zach sauce just in case. I don't usually use it, but just in case 
um, I want to dip my chicken fingers in there. Sometimes I get a, I think you pay just a little bit extra for the Zach sauce. So I always get that and then put it, I always fix my salad the same as cucumbers. And I, like I said, use both of the dressings. So funny, I try to, when I open the dressing, I try to open it in a small so I can spread it around more, but it kind of just does what it wants. But for those of you that are like me and very routine, you, know, you have your routine things you do. Okay, so throwing everything away and then the drink I had from this morning was in here and it's, I never drink all my drink, but I don't like to run out. So I always get a bigger one that I need. Pour it out and put it in my trash bag. And then I usually just throw all my trash and stuff away the next place I get out. So, I am going to go eat my salad and I will see you guys later. Bye bye. Hey everyone. Okay, so I'm just starting out. It's Thursday and I actually just made my Friday video. It's uh, 1 12 because, um, long story but anyway I have something going on tomorrow and I thought I would go ahead and do it today and um, so that feels good because then I'll have Friday night you know and then now I'm going to go get some lunch and I'm going to take this back it is like a rug it's a jacket I bought from H&M online and it is so scratchy. I felt it in the store and I thought, gosh, as soon as that thing comes, I'm returning it. It was like $70. And um, so I'm gonna take that back and then I'll be right over there where Chick-fil-A is and I'm gonna get my Chick-fil-A sal salad that I've already shown you guys, I think once this week. But I crave it. There's just something about that dressing and those little peppers and stuff, it's so good. So, like always, tell me about any salads that you like. Um, I usually like, I usually like chicken or something in it. I do love like Asian salads and stuff like that, Southwest salads, but I like some kind of protein in it because this is my meal, biggest meal of the day usually. Usually at night, um, I just kind of pick at something, cut up a cucumber, or, you know, if I fix dinner for the kids, maybe I'll have a couple bites while I'm eating or something. But um, I try to do most of my eating during the day. And then I don't eat a lot at night. And um, so, not a lot going on today. But, um, gosh, so much traffic all the time. Cracks me up. I was thinking if there was anything else. I had to tell you, I do, I'm going to go to Ulta too, because I had a free, um, got all my paperwork here. Here's my receipt to return that, and I had a, that free, um, Quidad Travel Size Anti-Humidity Climate Control Heat and Humidity Gel. I never really liked gel on my hair, but I thought I would just try it since it was free. You never know, that's a good brand. And, um, the Lowe's truck behind me and um, they're having that 21 days of beauty the other day I got that Lorac eyeliner I'm using it today I really like it but I got the Lorac eyeliner the liquid one they had the liquid and the pencils for $10 I think it was like regularly 23 and I got it for $10 you just can't beat that so I'll see what their little special is and um, that will probably be it. Then it'll be time to go get Will. I tell you, I kind of miss, it's kind of neat, broke driving and everything, but I miss her. I miss her in the morning. I talk, don't talk to her as much. She's so neat. She gets home before I do because she gets out of school early. She has like a free fourth, they call it, period. She actually could have graduated. She was supposed to graduate in January, but she ended up changing her mind. She didn't want to do that. So she is, sorry, we're going to have to adjust for this car. But, um, so she gets home before I do. And so I'm going to go do this stuff and I will let you know if I get anything exciting. <laughs> Bye. 
So I just left Ulta and I bought one thing that got great reviews. And you know, I'm trying all kinds of stuff to just all different kinds of styling products. I'm never going to go away from Amane shampoo, conditioner, and oil. And I even mix some of these in with like the blowout cream. And I still love the Rejuva beads. But anyway, so I'm looking at different things. And this got great reviews. And it's the KMS Moist Repair Revival Cream. Moisture and Manageability. And so, we will try this. Daily Leave-In Restores Moisture Balance, Instantly Improves Manageability. And it got really, really good reviews. And then the thing I got for free was this. The Quidad. Um, advanced Climate Control Heat and Humidity Gel. Anti-frizz nanotechnology. Defines curls, locks out humidity. So, even if um, I don't like it, I've got plenty of people that would probably love to try it. I have lots of curly hair friends. And then I took back that crazy jacket to uh, H&M and ended up exchanging, I still got 40 some dollars back, but I exchanged it and got these. Are they not so pretty? They're like neon pink, neon fuchsia. And I love how the straps are like kind of fat and they look really pretty on your feet. And I think the heel is, if I had to say maybe three and a half inches instead of four, it seemed like a little bit lower. And I just thought those were so pretty and they were only $30. And um, I thought even if I wear them a couple of times, you know, I just thought they would look good with jeans and I don't know. I just thought they were pretty. I saw them last time I was in there and didn't get them. So now, let me move out this lady's way. Now I'm going to go to, let me get her away real quick so she can back up. Parallel parking. Now I'm going to um, Chick-fil-A. And I'm going to get my Diet Dr. Pepper and my Cobb salad with the chicken tenders. And I found a new little shady spot to eat and listen to the news and everything. It's 157. That's perfect. I love waiting until like 2 o'clock to eat. And then I'll eat something in the afternoon. And I'm doing that intermittent fasting. And um, it's just, it's, to me, that's just like the best way because then you get to eat more of, I mean, I still try to eat a little bit low carb, but I still treat myself as long as it's within, you know, those hours. I usually stop eating about, I would say six, six or seven, just depending on if we go out to eat or not. And um, so, ooh, I hate this intersection. So I'm going to go ahead and end this here because I need to concentrate. And um, I'll probably end this vlog and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.